And after you kill that guy, for whatever reason, that's when this guy shows up. And it's just one regular ogre. It's like, why? He just, he was late to the party and he missed it. <laughs> what is whatever, we're not gonna worry about this one. A singular ogre at this stage of the game. Why? Why, game? Why? It's just cannon fodder. A waste of time. Er, but anyway, as I was saying before, I looked at the spells in each school, and I tried to push them out so it all works out fairly evenly. There ended up... Well, well there's like... There's 59 spells in the game, and there are 15 levels of experience for, for them. Like, 1 through 15, literally. Uh... I don't know exactly how the experience scales with that, but obviously 15 costs the most to raise. That that was spells like Crushing Death and White Fire in the original. And spells with one cost very little to raise. Um, I'm not sure anything is actually that low in the original, but uh, since, since there was almost 60 spells, and here, here's this regular human bandit, what a joke. Since there were almost 60 spells and there were 15 experience levels, I said, okay, I'll just put four on each level. And I, uh, pushed them out so that there were four 15s, four 14s, four 13s, etc. And there are only three ones to balance it out. I don't know exactly how that will impact the experience economy or whatever. I haven't applied the updates, I'm not even in this version I have right now. But it is a planned change and something I definitely want to do. Because some spells are just really, really good, and they're way too easy to raise for how good they are. Like, for example, the, the big one in my mind is Mirror, which is a very powerful defensive spell that lets you resist all magic. And it's one of the least costly spells to raise, although you do need to be a decently high wizarding level to learn it. But there's also the Aura spells, Aura of Death and... Formerly Solar Wrath, which I changed to Aura of Wrath. Those spells, when you cast on them, or when you cast them on enemies, will cause them to be demoralized, and there's a very good chance that they'll run away. Both of those spells are extremely easy to rank, and whenever you get access to them, it's always worthwhile to sink into them, because... <laughs> how can you kill enemies faster than by making them run away and kill themselves, effectively? They remove themselves from combat and everything's fine. He's trying to cast debilitation. What a silly fool. This Cyclops encounter is even less threatening than the first Cyclops encounter, where there were two of them. Ah, oh, man. Gotta do something about these battle groups someday. We just gotta. But anyway, yeah. So, we have all those dudes. Uh, so we've got spells of all those experience levels and whatnot. For the ranks... Oh, hold on. Wait, so it's only a slight thing to just Let's roll the dice. Yeah. Yeah. So that, so that other treasure chest was 5,000 for free. This one, you open a slightly dangerous trap and it's 2,000. Yeah. Anyway. All these experience levels for all these spells. For the ranks of the spells, I looked at it individually between schools, because I wanted to make sure that there would be a balance of spells that every wizard could learn, no matter like what their school was. So it's it's not like you'll ever have a person who can't learn anything until they've hit a certain wizard rank. Every school has spells that are like in tiers. Not in tiers, is in crying. They're like in, in ability tiers. Value tiers, however you want to put it. Some spells are better than others, and I did my best to weigh them against each other. Are these bandit... Are, ah, this is a new type of bandit. This guy right here. This is not a bandit woodsman, it's a bandit archer. It's a little hard to tell, because they look... Well, I mean, obviously the model is the same, and they look very similar. But you can... These bows they're using are not hunter's bows. Those are uh, bows of accuracy, which are as you may expect, highly accurate. But they also boost dexterity, so these guys are pretty darn fast now. Is that a bandit boss? I think it's a boss. Get the boss! 
Uh, this is the other enemy that ended up with the Stealth Blade. Although it doesn't do them a whole ton of good, because they are not Lunar, they will not use the Darkness spell inside of it. But uh, they are the only enemy you can see using the Stealth Blade, because, as I mentioned back in the Gorgon's video, the Gorgon's weapon is part of their character model, so you, you would never see them actually holding the Stealth Blade. So with these guys, you can see them holding the weapon, and with the Gorgons, you can see them using the weapon. Or, the, casting the spell off the weapon. Bandit archers are less common than they should be, which is basically true of all the mid-tier bandits. And just like with the human bandits, there's no reason there shouldn't be more bandit archers out here than there are. I don't like you being all this close to me, guy. I'm gonna cast Starstorm on you. You and your friend. And they've got this wimpy little human bandit with them. Ah. Uh, yeah, these guys are the reason I saved before this fight, because they actually make things quite problematic. If you're not broken like I am, yeah, chop. Oh, I got a second chop. Take him down. I should probably heal Aleron, just in case. I yeah, really can't get away from this guy. He's got a little bit of endurance. Eh. Land hands. Oh, I'm glad it picked Alaron over Raida. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I've, like, put a character next to someone I want to heal, and they end up healing someone else. Uh... Yeah, you can probably get him. Get him. Oh, and as you can see now, yes, they are holding scorpion shields. I don't think they had any shields in the original, but... I gave him scorpion shields. I figured that, like, archer-type enemies would have lighter equipment in terms of shields. So, the scorpion shield is one of the best shields you can get that still hurts dexterity. And that's why they have them. And they're also uncommon enough that you can't really, like, farm up scorpion shields here on the road. Unless you refight these things and try to get lucky. Although I am hoping we got some, because that would be great. Faster! Faster! Deck with your dexterity, uh, Arthur O. Scorpion shield? Oh, no scorpion shield. Wait, no, I, I I want the things. I want the things. Yes. Okay. I still have my buttons swapped from what RPG Maker usually is, and it confuses me every time. Mm, pardon me. Alright, so that's that little back mountainy area. It exits over here to some grassy, hilly bits. Everything interesting on the road to Port Said is off the actual path. And by interesting, I mean there's more ogres. Uh, I kind of want to dive in there and cast Starstorm, but I also kind of don't want to put Brenna in that position with her current health. So you know what? Uh, we'll heal. Then we'll dive in there. But we'll, we'll heal. Yeah. I might need to worry about getting their health raised soon. Because, as it currently stands, well, we're going to need more as enemies start to hit harder and more often. But as we're casting more spells, it'll be important, too, to keep our stamina up. Because this game, although I think it is an interesting mechanic, I also think it's annoying that you need stamina to use spells, but stamina is also part of your health. Okay, uh... I wasn't expecting you to get two turns in a row, dear. How about you stupidity kill one of these guys? There. He's too dumb to move. Look at all those boars in the ranks. Ow. I'm pretty sure they are not giant boars, just regular boars. Which is like, why? Boars are not relevant at this point either. Ow, guys, come on. See, this would have been Brenna getting chopped to bits here. If I'd thrown her into the fray, like I was thinking. Now is the time, though. Can I, can I get her between these two fatties? I don't think I can. No, I'm not going to be able to squeeze her in there. But I might be able to get three of them in there. Oh, 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 nope, she fit. <laughs> she fit her on the back. Uh, can I hit 
Can I hit all four? I would like to hit all four. It seems like... Oh, 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 I saw it. I saw it for a split second there. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure what I did with Starstorm was I gave it, like, the narrowest casting circle, but it affects everything that you fit into the circle. I might adjust that. There's a lot of different circle styles for spells, and you can do some pretty interesting things with them that you don't really see in the original game. Like, mixing and matching. Yeah, you better run, guy, before we cast more star magic on you. Mysterious powers from the heavens that cannot be seen. Because they are... <laughs> the spell was never meant to have that effect. Uh... Yeah, see, just regular... Regular boring boars. Why? Like, why, game? They're level 2. They stopped being interesting 10 hours ago. Yeah. I wonder what our chances of scaring them away are. Mm. Yeah. Go get him. Or, Turo. He can't defend himself. They are getting scared away. Good. Uh, maybe we can persuade the others to leave by healing a little bit. Yes! Flee, boy! Flee! Arturo, I was clunking over. What's your, what's your weapon skill, Arturo? I'm just curious to see. Okay, so he's still pretty decent with his weapons. I think he used to be like 6 or 7 or something. But, yeah, 5, five is still pretty good for this phase of the game. Yeah. Still so slow, though. Oh, God. Boars. Run away, boars. Run away. Someday we'll have teleport spells and we won't have to worry about all this traipsing. Eh. I don't know why I'm running Brenna closer. It's not like she needs to be. I honestly can't tell how distance affects uh, throwing damage. I feel like... I have better luck hitting enemies with bows if I'm further from them. I might just be crazy, I don't know. It would feel like with throwing weapons it's easier to hit things when they're closer. But I don't know the specifics. All that stuff is behind the smoke and mirrors of Aiden. Even so, since Bren is one of our healers, it's nice to have her close by. Literally do. Gonna chop this boar in half. And I can't reach it, darn. And now it's fleeing. Well, Finish him, Arturo! Look at you, you're a hero. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Stupid boars. If you weren't giant boars, you wouldn't be such cowards. See, his dexterity was so low, he raised like once per fight. He's still low, but we're getting there. He's getting better, guys. You won't be crap forever. Uh, do I want to use any of this experience I've got? I, I kind of do, and I kind of don't. Mm. Too many decisions left to make. Should I just sit on it for now? Uh. Eh, too indecisive. Can't handle it. I'm cracking under pressure. I feel like I'm good for now. Alright, so we killed those ogres. Uh, I think... Oh yeah, over here. This is a different slope. We came from that slope. This is a different one. There are no monsters up here, but there's a treasure. Yeah. Go around the band here. Weave our way up. Boop, boop, boop. Box. A magical floating box. I'm pretty sure this one's trapped. I'm gonna save. Still have these things blowing up on me sometimes. Moderately dangerous. Ah, we handled it. 
See, look at that. A thousand gold for the moderately really dangerous trap. The slightly dangerous traps guards two thousand. The five thousand chest is free. Still some of the biggest gold values we'll see out here now that I nerfed them all. Okay. So, um, there's a couple more ogre encounters around here on top of these mountains. And this one up here is a respawning encounter that features the rarest ogre of all. That's right. These are hill ogres. Some of them are, at least. We get a mix of both. Regular ones and hill ogres. Uh, back before I made these adjustments, I thought these were the only hill ogres in the game. And that was why I originally called them hill ogres, because they were ogres that lived on a hill. But now we know better. There are more of them. As it so happens. Now, if only there were a lot more of them. Wouldn't that be great? Can I not get all four of you? Oh, you positioned wrong. Eh. Tuck in. Squeeze on in there. Eh. You guys are too fat. Wait, wait. Did I did I see Did I see a spot where she could get all four? Eh, right, right back here? No, nah, it's one or the other. Oh well. Oh, she can only get two of them from there. Okay, she'll, we'll go over here. We'll go over here! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying to make the most of my spells. Yeah, they even have different getting hurt noises than regular ogres. At least, some. Some of the noises they make are different. Can I stay on a grain you guys from here? Only one of you. Eh, I'll air shield just in case they get a lot of turns to chop gunner pieces. So yeah, where the hill logos are, this is the one encounter where you can always find them and this encounter comes back. Only downside would be that there are no places nearby where you can like easily force the encounter to reappear. Not that you particularly need to anyway. It's just that's how it is. Can I kill this hill Can I kill this guy before he gets a turn? That would be great. Yeah, there he goes. Oh no, I shouldn't have hurried him. I'm a fool. I'm a fool and I've paid for my foolishness. Why can't I hit this guy? He's right in front of me. Are you too big to hit with this spell? No, no way. I hit him before. That, there we go. Spell casting circles in this game can be a little weird sometimes. I <laughs> chipped him. Don't do it. Ow. Yeah, that could hurt more. Somehow, I'm more concerned about this big guy than the little guys. The, the, the smaller big guys. The less large guys. Okay. There he goes. Yeah. I'm gonna start attacking the one over the hill. Darn. Where do you think you're going? Try quit quit bleh, quit trying to kill Brenna. Stab it. Nice. I should probably heal her. I'll do it after I kill this guy. Die. There. Arturo. Get over there and sa save Alaron. <laughs> He couldn't do it. Ah! I need to go heal around. So she can keep throwing. So we don't have to go over there. Uh. Raid, uh. Why would you want to do that, miss? Well, pick up the pace! Yay, the other ogre is fleeing. Eh. Heal her. Yay. They're both fleeing. Very good news. Patch her up a bit further. Yeah. 
almost killed him. Oop, no, no. Eh. Just keep on yelling her. No reason not to. God, they are so slow. We won't have to wait for that one to, to get out of here. Would have been a little embarrassing if she missed, huh? I had faith in her. Oops, I meant to heal her. Eh. You know what? He's almost out of here. Just heal Aileron back. Almost done. <sighs> we did it. We won the Hillogra fight, everyone. Hooray! Mission accomplished.